All right, so this is the quick video uh, on how to send an email with an attachment. And you can see I've already got my Gmail open. I'm going to come up here to Compose Mail. Click on that. And uh, there we go. A new message shows up. And I start typing in the address I'm sending it to. And you can see my name comes up. So if I scroll over here with the arrow keys and I click on the right one, which is sarasota.k12.fl.us, it, it pops up just like that. Now, the subject for this will be poem or anthology. That lets me know, uh, you know, really what the, what the email is going to be for, even before I open it up. Okay, and you're going to do a nice message. Dear Captain Chesnoff, okay, I've attached the poem from my Poetry Portfolio Project to be inserted into the anthology that you are creating. Please see attachment. Okay. And you always want to make sure you sign your name. And we'll sign this one just generically, student. Uh, that way I know who it's from. Sometimes I may not know based on the email address. And so you always want to get into the habit of signing your name. Okay. And there you have it. Then you need to do the attach file. And that's over here. It's typically um, with a paper clip. Okay. The paper clip icon will very often be near where it says attach file. You click on this once and a browser comes up. And then I'm going to look for that poem. Uh, the quest for courage and there it is and I'm going to double click it I'm going to click select over here and it shows up you may also as it as you browse if you're at school you may browse through the Z drive or use your flash drive okay that's what you should all have and carry around with you and so once it's attached it shows up over here and there you can see it's the quest for courage okay and it tells you even the size of the file and I can click to detach it or re-click to attach it. And that's pretty much it. Once I've done that, I'm ready to go. I click send and I've just sent myself the quest for courage. And, uh, and that's how you do it. So good luck with that and I look forward to seeing your poetry.